Alright, so how's it going everybody and today we are going to be taking a look at the next gen Ryzen 7000 series X3D chips and whether they are going to be something that will shake up the gaming market, the high-end gaming market or not. So yeah, if you like the video, press that like button. If you want to see videos of that kind, subscribe and let's get to it with the first CPU that we have, which is the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. Now all the 3D Vcache model chips are the same in terms of core count compared to the non-3D Vcache models, but there are some different is that it's actually lower in the uh, core and boost clock and from my latest leak it actually was reported that it doesn't run as hot as the other non 3d v cache models like for example uh there was some leak test this x3d model cpu hit only 89 degrees compared to the non x3d model which was actually at around 95 degrees celsius when it comes to the benchmarks what we know for the 7800 x3d it was actually faster than the ryzen 7 5800 x3d the previous previous gen uh, only 3D Vcache model it was faster than it by around 20 to 30 percent minimum and this is actually really good and these benchmarks were in Dota 2 and CSGO Rainbow Six so yeah these are really FPS competitive games now actually it's still not as fast as the 3900k when it comes to benchmarks because the 3900k benchmarks in csgo is so freaking fast but that actually gives you a really good uh, idea about how this uh, competitive cpu will be because the 7800x3d uh, should be around 350 to 400 dollars so you're getting a really good gaming cpu with eight cores and 16 threads for that uh, much money is actually pretty cool and there are also the other variants this is not the only variant so there is the 7900x3d with the same amount of cores and the 7950x3d with 16 cores and 32 threads now the total cache will be for around i believe 144 megahertz megabytes sorry and 64 megabytes of l3 cache now these CPUs are actually going to be launched somewhere in February and we are taking another look at the highest end CPU in the bunch which is the 7950X3D compared to the 13900K and in Watch Dogs Legion it was faster, Dota 2, Rainbow Six and Horizon Zero Dawn it was faster by around 9 to 24% respectively and uh, keep in mind that this is the Ryzen 9 7950X3D but AMD have mistakenly named it the Ryzen 7 CPU. CPU. So a 16 cores 32 threaded CPU with that big of a gaming capability and actually it's lower in terms of temperature compared to the non x3d version of it it goes to show you that this cpu kind of beat in itself and amd are actually bringing in the heat to nvidia but it, we really are going to see how these cpus will be priced at because this is a major key you know to or whether these cpus are worth it or not and yeah that's been it if you like the video press on that like button it's a pretty quick video if you want to see more of that can subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace